in the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful volumetric window light effect. Sit down, relax and enjoy. Okay, so here we are inside Blender 4.0 and uh, let me show you how did I do that uh, sunlight window light effect. So first of all, let's switch to the render view to see what, what we got here. So as you can see, we got this really cool light entering in the room. So. It's actually a pretty easy effect to do. And uh, if I turn on my fog, you will see that we got this really subtle sun rays entering on their own, which gives this a nice cinematic effect. So I will show you how to do this. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure that you, we don't have any light sources coming in any way. I mean, we, we must have our scene completely closed inside a cube or something. So we can leave this, the whole of the window as the only light source. Okay. So I'm going to save my old world. And I'm going to create a new one. And let's add a sky texture. Okay. And as you can see, where we will be, we are using the uh, Nishita sky texture. And uh, let's rotate this until we got some sunlight entering here on the on the room. Maybe I reduce the elevation of this until it got like some kind of sunset or sunrise. Okay, here we are. And let's add here in the air, maybe reduce this to something like 0.8 and increase the dust and the ozone to 3. Okay, and let's play with the sun elevation. All right, until we got the sun projecting here on the on the piano, okay. And I think this is good. And to create the fog effect, what well, this will be really easy to do. Um, as you can see, I got here a cube that is involving the wall scene. Let me change it to solid, okay? But let's do this from scratch. So I'm going to create in the in the world origin a cube, a big cube, okay? Uh, let's move this here. Uh, let's name this fog. And uh, let's create a new material in the shader editor. Let's create a new material. Delete the principled BSDF shader. Shift A. And let's add a uh, uh, volume scatter. And make sure you will plug this on the volume socket of the material output. And uh, as you can see, we got this really nice uh, volumetric effect. But this is too strong, so let's reduce the intensity to something like 0 0.01 or maybe 0 0.05, not sure. So this will depend on what you are looking for. So as you can see, this, this is pretty easy to do. It's not a too complicated effect. Uh, something that you must take into account is that if you want to keep the sh to keep the sharp volumetric shadow here like this dark line here which is the window shadow uh, 
you will have to keep the sun side uh, sun size in uh, slow in a really little size because for example if i increase it to something like 10 we'll have a diffuse shadow on the room and a softer shadow on the on the windows so as i said before this will depend on uh, what you're looking for for uh, your uh, scene okay dear artist thank you for joining me today if you found value in this content please consider liking and subscribing until the next time and keep creating